Okay, this is Halloween 2021. Sunday evening, it is uh, about six o'clock. We figured we have served about 150 to 160 kids already. We're going till seven o'clock with this, so we're a little bit uh, halfway through. Um, th it's been a successful night for us. So you can't see it on this camera, but north of here is a second location, the American Legion. You can, there's cars parked on the side of the road up there. Uh, they've got probably 10 or 12 vehicles uh, handing out candy. We've got Webster Field um, Fire Department here with us. <clears throat> and there we go. Trunk or treat, five to seven. We've got cars lined up on the side here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seven different vehicles here handing out candy. And as you can see, it's the perfect night for this. We've got one spot open, one person that had a last minute emergency that could not make it tonight. And I have not heard about the fire department. That is the third location. Um, but I think they've got quite a few people up there as well uh, passing out candy. Uh, so yeah, it's been a very successful evening. Here we've got some people coming in on the back of a pickup truck. That's the way we do it in Ridge. I love that costume. <laughs> Looks like he's being held. <laughs> And uh, here we've got Sexy Rooster, brought his dog. He's trying to pick up chicks tonight. I'm not sure if he's scored yet or not. Okay, I went to my local fertilizer chemical slash seed dealer this morning. I've got some uh, wheat seed here that I will be planting next week after we harvest soybeans. But this is, this is some things that I've learned this morning. Oh my gosh, the price of fertilizer. It has almost doubled since the spring. So uh, for instance, urea is now I think they said $840 per ton, and it was only about $420, I think, in the spring. All fertilizer has almost doubled in price. That is, wow, that's crazy. Now, it is the fall, and we don't need a whole lot of fertilizer right now, so there's time for it to come down in price by the time we need it in the spring, but I doubt that's going to happen. And the other thing I found out, glyphosate, I can, I still cannot get it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it back in August, but uh, when I was there in late July, early August to get some glyphosate uh, to spray over top of some soybeans, I could not get it any in 30 gallon drums. That's the way I normally buy it. All they had available was two and a half gallon containers. That is still the case here in October. So that is three months later, July, August, September, October. Three months later, still cannot get glyphosate in bulk, meaning 30 gallons or more. We can only get it right now in two and a half gallon containers. Of course, that is double the price of the 30 gallon containers as far as a per gallon price, uh, 20, $25 a gallon, I think is what this was. 
I was paying, I think, $12 a gallon in the 30-gallon drums. Uh, and even worse than that, he's not sure, the, the dealer is not sure when he can get any more in. Uh, he has been calling around. No supplier is promising anything at this point on delivery, uh, whether it's in December or in February or March of next year, they're not they're not guaranteeing anything. They're not guaranteeing a price. He is trying to get it, but he just cannot get it. And two and a half gallons is in limited supply right now. So I think once he sold out of two and a half, that's it. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. That's all I can say is, let's go, Brandon. Yes. All right. Let me. I guess I'll put the forks on the uh, skid steer and uh, take this weed off, put it in the barn. All right, I think I've got everything ready to go on here. So uh, let's go cut some soybeans. The sun isn't quite coming out the way I need it to, but I'm going to give it a shot anyhow and see how it goes. I, I got to try it just to satisfy, uh, satisfy myself to see if they're ready to go or not. So I'm going to do it. There is the first load of soybeans for 2021. Conditions weren't really perfect today. Uh, you can see the clouds in the sky, the sun, that's kind of the way the sun has been all afternoon. But uh, they cut okay, the, and I was getting them out of the pods. That wasn't the issue. It's just that they've got a little bit of moisture in them. I'm, I'm checking them at 15 and a half percent. It's more than I'd like to have, but I want to no-till some wheat in these fields, so I've got to get these soybeans out of here. Uh, if that sun would just come out, uh, they would they would drop a point in moisture, a point and a half, you know, in an hour. But sun's just not doing it, and uh, there is a chance of rain tomorrow afternoon um, I'm not even sure if we'll be able to cut any soybeans before the rain comes in uh, so uh, yeah we'll, we'll see I, I guess I'll take this load to Purdue in the morning um, just to make sure my testers working okay and at, as I said at 15 and a half uh, I'm a little skeptical about putting them in the bin. I would probably be okay with blowing some air on them, but anyway, I've got to haul soybeans anyway, so I will take these to Purdue. And you know, it's Friday evening, it is five o'clock. That means it's adult beverage time, but first I've got to get the blower and blow all this dust off of the combine uh, in case it is gonna rain before I'm able to get this in the barn tomorrow. Uh, so that's all from the field, and I'm going to say see ya.